AI text to image models suffer from two problems. One is human anatomy. They do fingers quite bad and also they do text rendering terribly. So you have used DALI, Mid Journey, Stable Diffusion, any model that you pick, they do text rendering very bad until we have a new model from Stable Diffusion that can do text rendering good. So this is Mid Journey. So you can see how it has tried to mess up cooking. But if you see the new model from uh, Stable Diffusion, that's called SDXL. They're calling it Stable Diffusion XL. So you can see that this is a prompt. You want a sign that has whatever word here is night cafe and then you can add the detail and you can actually see a signboard with proper English spelling for night cafe. And this is the model that we are going to discuss in this video about how you can access the model and we are going to look at a couple of options. To start with, if you want to access the model, you have to go to the stability.ai website, stability.ai and then go there and then you would see the try dream studio. Once you see try dream studio, you have to click this. When you click this, it's going to take you to this place where it says start generating the images of your dream. Get early access to the text uh, SD Excel model preview and be the first to try out new features. So if you have not known that stable diffusion always, always had a graphical user interface, just like Lexica art and a lot of other uh, providers. But Stable Division or this company Stability.ai never focused on that interface. It looks like they are attempting to revamp this and that's why you are seeing a new landing page called Dream Studio. In fact, the interface is quite new. So once you reach dreamstudio.ai, you would see this information about how their new model, you have got early access for the new model called SDXL. So this new model is supposed to give you better um, image rendering, generally like photorealistic photos but auto also it does text rendering really good and you can see what other uh, things that you can do with uh, generally with dream studio but without boring if i click this thing it will take you to this interface where you have the dream studio interface you would be you would have been given certain amount of credit at the start if you have created the account i'm not sure if it is quite valid today but i created my dream studio account like long back when dream studio was completely new thing so i've had some credit so that is something that you need to make sure. Otherwise, I think you can top up for the credit. Uh, the way it does text rendering, I think you can actually top up for the credit it is worth. Next, after that, you have you can click here and select the model. But before I show you anything else, I want to actually generate an image and then show you. So I'm going to keep only two images and I'm going to say, um, I want, a let's use the same prompt. We can use the same prompt. It says a sign that says something, something. Let's go back here and then say a sign that says one little coder. I was also told that sometimes it messes up. So I'm not sure if it is going to mess up here, but let's say a neon sign that says one little coder on a desert track. Okay. Let's dream. So I've asked for two images and you can see actually that how my credit also goes down. So I'm expecting it to have text one little coder. I'm not sure if it does alphanumeric really good, but um, there is no harm in trying this. That's what the channel name is. So that's what I wanted to try. So because we have given two images, uh, maybe it is taking a little bit of time while it is actually generating the image. I would like to quickly show you the options that you have got. Okay. It didn't say one little coder, honestly speaking, a sign board should I have said sign board. Okay, let me try. Now I'm going to try with only one image. I don't want to waste my count. I'm going to say, maybe I can try this thing. A superhero holding a board that says one little coder. Okay, let's dream. So first attempt did not go well. My prompting skills are not really good, but let's see the second attempt. Meanwhile, you can see this is the model space where you can actually select the model from starting from stable diffusion V 1.5, 2.1, 2.1, 768 by 768 and the new model that we are trying is the Excel beta. And then you also have style enhance the style options. If you have used playground, you know that these are like certain options about these are more like uh, the textual inversion styles that people used to use. These days, people are not that big um, um, crazy about it. but back back in the time like this used to be like a big deal so you can try different styles here pixel art you can try uh, like a craft clay you can try like a low poly you can try different styles okay 
Oh, that's good. That's good. We have got a little coder. I think the one is not uh, very good, but it's not a superhero as well. But anyways, you got like one little coder somewhat close by. So we'll do more text experiments. But before that, I would like to quickly show you the platform. So you have the styles. This is the place where you can add the prompt. This is the place where you can add the negative prompt. If you want to do image to image, you upload it here and then you change the settings like what kind of image you want, how many images you want. And you have got some advanced settings that you can see prompt strength, generation steps, random seed for reproducibility and all these things. It's quite a very simple interface. Your history lies here. If you don't like your history, you can go ahead and then delete the image also. So it, it deletes the image. So let's uh, I think now it's time for us to try our text uh, options what we have. So I'm going to try something else as soup a superhero I should say superhero mugshot with a board that says hope or I should say Ted Lasso this is this is actually a prompt I saw from uh, blender sushi uh, one, one of uh, one of quite a popular uh, 3d renderer so Ted Lasso holding a board that says hope belief right belief Okay, let's try. So I'm asking for Ted Lasso. Um, what I realized is while this model does text really well, it doesn't do celebrities or any picture that you ask well. I'm not sure if that is, um, if you know stable diffusion back in the day, initial model had everything. Oh, this is quite amazing. But uh, honestly, like this is not Ted Lasso. Um, I, I like this is nowhere closer to Jason Sudeikis, the actor Ted Lasso, but you can see that the belief is good. So you can see the text rendering actually works well, but it doesn't do the other part well, like even if you look for celebrity. So I'm not sure if it is actually due to the training data issue, the issue in which they have tried to avoid all the um, all the things that they could uh, copyrighted issues. But one thing that we know for sure is text works and uh, it also matters how you give in the prompt. The prompt also matters. So let me try a different option here. Uh, <laughs> the finger is quite obvious that, you know, that this is AI generated. So I want to try something, a bird, a cake with um, name. What is the name? I should say um, open AI written on it, a cake with colorful candles, a rain unicorn cake, unicorn cake with rainbow, colorful candles with the name open AI written on it. So I'm expecting that I want a cake, like what, what, I, what I expected when I gave this prompt is I want a cake. Okay. I got everything. I got everything except, uh, open a Bo neon light outside supermarket. Neon light with text. Open a outside supermarket. Let's try. Whether it shows neon light actually in the shape of open AI. That's another thing that I wanted to try. And you can see like every time I run, uh, okay, open AI is cool. Uh, here the text is messed up here. It is fine. Let me try one more thing. Dalai Lama holding a board. Open AI. Or let's say Imad stock. Um, this is the CEO of stability.ai. So let's see Dalai Lama holding a board. Imad Mustak. So again, very simple prompt. Like I'm giving prompt as if I'm try, trying to do this with the uh, mid journey. Okay. We didn't get Dalai Lama holding a board. Does text well, like you can go to Twitter and then you can see a lot of examples, how somebody has, you know, generated some, um, photorealistic images. This video is particularly focusing only on the text aspect. As you can see, it is, uh, you can try to generate different type of images, especially you know, the famous selfies, uh, uh, text and all the other things like there is a duck that says uh, luck. Uh, but but honestly, like I would say, like in my in my uh, attempt, so it was um, it was slightly a miss uh, in certain uh, cases and uh, other things are. I should try Donald Trump holding a sign saying hope. I don't know why I'm obsessed with hope as a word, but let's see if it can show Donald Trump holding a sign saying hope. Um, okay. We got Donald Trump holding a sign. So let me try Elon Musk 
holding a sign saying BBC. Uh, if you know the recent interview from BBC, so you know this is slightly related to that. So Elon Musk, okay, Elon Musk. This is quite perfect. Elon Musk holding a sign saying BBC. Okay, let me try something slightly bigger. Twitter is dead. Elon Musk holding a sign saying Twitter is dead. So whether it is going to show me Twitter is dead because I didn't give it in quote. It didn't, it didn't say, okay. Elon Musk holding a sign saying Twitter. Let's try. I think we will stop our experiments at this point where um, we have tried a lot. You, you can see, okay, it didn't work out. Um, the first one was good. So this is again a concerning aspect for me, honestly speaking, like uh, the, the kind of prompts, like for example, if I said Elon was holding a sign saying BBC, this has gone really well. But other than that, like I, I really struggle, like look at the hands here. So I think the consistency is something that uh, I don't, I don't connect a lot with this model in itself, but uh, text rendering is something that I'm really excited about. Like I've really struggled. We already saw Adobe Firefly does text rendering, but Adobe Firefly does text rendering totally different way, little by little. But I appreciate that SDXL can do text rendering, but um, SDXL is not there yet. Maybe that's why it's a preview model. Give a try, go to Dream Studio and then give a try and let me know your thoughts. What do you feel about um, a Dream Studio and SDXL, Stable Diffusion Excel model? I hope this video was helpful to you. Quite a long video, a lot of trial and error for me um, after after quite a long time, I, I, I came to stable diffusion. I hope you don't mind. See you in another video.